Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, today we are going to discuss the most important topic of economic geography, that is economic activities. So, first we must know something about economic geography. What is economic geography? Economic geography deals with the study of resources, natural resources, human resources, mineral resources, everything, economic activities, and factors affecting economy. So, in economic geography, we first deal with the resources, their amount, their location, then with the economic activities, then which sector of economic activity is prevalent, in which area, and why, and then what are the factors which affect the economy of an area. We first study these things, and then we study their spatial distribution, that which economic activity is located in which place or which economic resource is located in which area. So, the study of economic resources, economic activity and the factors affecting the economy of a country with a special perspective is known as economic geography. We study the economy at local levels, at national levels and international levels. Right? Now, we are defining economic activities simply. When a man performs any activity and through that activity he earns his livelihood, so that activity is known as economic activity. In modern days, we can say that earning money is economic activity, but there are certain activities in which money is not involved. Therefore, we define economic activities as any activity through which man earns his livelihood is his economic activity. The next definition says that activities related to production, consumption and exchange of goods and services is known as economic activities and the third one is ways which men adopt for betterment of his life are economic activities. So economic activities are all those activities through which we fulfill our basic requirements but not only the basic requirements, we can use these activities to improve our life standards. Next. Now, whenever we study the economic activities, uh, we must study history a bit. For example, the Stone Age. At that period, the economic activities were a bit different. At that time, there was no cash, no money. Then came the Bronze Age, and the activities which started in the Stone Age, they continued in the Bronze Age, but new activities were also introduced. And same is the case with this machine age and atomic age. So today we are having those activities which started in stone age and which started in bronze age. Those activities which started in machine age and all these activities are present now in this atomic age of today. Now we divide all the economic activities of the world into these five categories primary economic activities, secondary economic activities, tertiary economic activities and quaternary and quinary economic activities. Next, the first one, they are the primary economic activities. These are related uh, to the basis, the initial. So these are the basic and the oldest economic activities. Primary economic activities are the oldest economic activities. Here man reaps the product of nature. Man uses nature. The main role in primary economic activity is played by our nature. And in these activities, whenever we discuss these activities, man is affected to a larger extent by his environment. If we keep this environment aside, then there will be no primary economic activity. Which are these activities? For example, mining, grazing, forestry, hunting, gathering. These are the basic economic activities and the oldest economic activities. Now, look at this person. He is a gatherer. His economic activity is that in morning he goes to the forest, collects the berries or the nuts or the fruits or whatever is available, eats himself and brings the remaining fruit to his family. Now this is the very simple and the basic economic activity and this person is known as gatherer. This gathering started 
when men came to this earth. This was the first economic activity that men adopted, but still, in the current world, in this atomic age, there are certain tribes which are even now performing this economic activity of gathering. These tribes they are mainly located in Africa, in Amazon basin, and in certain forest area of India. Now, once again, the primary activities they were the first that man started on our earth. And in these activities, he utilized forest as resource. Now, there are uh, people who are utilizing this forest even today. So, all of them, they are in the primary sector of economic activities. The important thing about that period then is that population remained or was very sparse at that time. Therefore, the forest, they were able to produce enough fruits and nuts for all the population, but currently it is impossible. And the second thing is that at that time, the level of civilization, if there is something like this, it was very low, very simple life. Next. Oh, previous, previous, now play this video, play this video. This, these are few hunters who are hunting. So hunting is also a primary economic activity. And when man started to hunt, he needed certain implements or certain things with which, with the help of which, he was able to hunt. For example, this wood that is in the hand of this person, this started a new economic activity. That is, you can say lumbering. And then, at the tip of this wood, there must be some metal, some sharp metal with the help of which the man was able to kill larger animals even elephants and mammals. So this started a new economic activity that is mining. So hunting, mining and lumbering. These are also primary economic activities. Next, this is the wood, firewood. For this firewood, this is a video. Uh, you needed the forest and uh, the lumbering that started for, even for fire, for implement and such activities. Next, mining. Mining was also an important economic activity and even today, this is a video play. Even today there are people who are engaged in the simplest form of mining. For example, they are using their hands and the simplest tools for mining now in Balochistan. So mining is also an important economic activity, primary economic activity. Next, agriculture, play. Agriculture, this was a very important economic activity and this activity sustains the life on earth today. This activity is said to have been started by these women. They used to live in their houses of whatever type those houses were, but in the backyards they started the agriculture and they, uh, even today, in rural areas they are performing agricultural activities. Next. In primary economic activities, man is dependent entirely on his nature. Next. Now comes the secondary economic activities. In the secondary economic activities, we add value to the products of primary economic activity. The economic activity in which value addition is done. We add value. We enhance the price of that value that product and the main activity in second economic activity is manufacturing manufacturing of everything this is in the second economic activity for example wheat is drawn by primary economic activity now we convert that wheat into flour and that flour into for example bread or cake now the price of cake is more than five or four times that of the wheat so we added value to, the, to that wheat and now uh, this is the second economic activity and in this activity we earn more money. Next, these are pictures, for example this is the machine, the local machine through which we converted the wheat into flour. This person, he is working on wood and adding value to that wood. In initial times, these were certain implements which were made from the metals 
and this 